this section we will practice with multi-layer switching first of all we have this network diagram all the switches are up and running and loaded with the default configuration and connected to each other based on the network diagram so our first task is to configure the distribution switch 3 uh, first of all we need to add VLAN 2 and then configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 assign its IP address configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 2 and assign its IP address and then we move the port 0 file of the distribution switch 3 into the VLAN 2 and after that we're going to configure the port 4 on the access switch 2 to make it the layer 3 port and assign its IP address and after that we're going to configure the port 0 file to be the layer 3 uh, port and assign its IP address and we need to make sure that the distribution switch 3 can route the package between the two VLANs so let's get started first we're gonna go to the distribution switch 3 enable configure T VLAN to exit out this and configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.1.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 exit out this and configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 2 interface VLAN 2 IP address 192.168.2.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 exit out this now we're gonna go to the port 0 file on distribution switch 3 and put it into the VLAN 2 switch port access VLAN 2 and let verify to make sure the port 0 file in VLAN 2 and you can see in the VLAN 2 the port 0 file is not there and we also notice the port 0 file is also not in the VLAN 1 so it must be because uh, the port uh, we connect between the two switch set to auto mode and it negotiate and form the chunk so let's verify this show interface g05 switch port and you can see the operational mode for the port g05 currently in the chunk mode so we need to fix that to make it the uh, access port configure T interface G05 switch port mode access and show VLAN as you can see now in VLAN 2 the port G05 become the member of the VLAN 2 however we see this error message for the native VLAN mismatch which is correct uh, we will fix that after we configure the port fast ethernet 05 on switch 2 to make it the layer 3 port now let's go to the access switch 1 in the access switch 1 we need to configure the port g 4 to become a layer 3 port and assign its IP address and the, assign the default gateway for it enable configure T interface G04 no switch port so the command to make the port G04 become a layer 3 port is no switch port now we can assign the IP address to it IP address 192.168.1.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 exit out this IP default gateway 192.168.1.1 so 
so the default gateway for the access switch one will be the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 of the distribution switch 3 and now let's go to the access switch 2 interface F05 no switch port and you can see the native VLAN mismatch show up over here and after we issue no switch ports to make the F05 become a layer 3 port um, the, the error message um, will disappear or it's, um, it's not the problem anymore now we can assign the IP address to the port uh, F05 192.168.2.5.255.255.255.0 exit out this IP default gateway 192.168.2.5.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.